With the new Matchware shared workspace, you can now collaborate on your mind maps more easily than ever. This is perfect for online brainstorming sessions, group work, and project management. Simply upload a MindView file directly through your desktop application or through the shared workspace and share it with other account holders. To upload a file, simply create a new folder in the My Documents section by selecting the New Folder icon. Name the folder. Hit Enter on your keyboard and then select the Upload icon. Browse on your computer for the file you'd like to upload. Select your folder and choose Open. And then choose to upload that file. Your file is now uploaded to the shared workspace in the designated folder that you created. Once you've uploaded a MindView file to the Matchware shared workspace, document owners can invite other users to share a MindView file online. The document owner can also grant read or write access to the users they invite. To invite a user, simply select the file you'd like to share, select the drop-down icon, and choose Share Options. From the Share Options dialog, I would then Add Users. I'm able to add users from within my organization or invite external users by entering their email address. Users within my organization, I simply check the boxes of the users I'd like to invite, grant them read or write access, and choose add. Once the users have been added, I select close, choose save. Those users will now receive an email with information to link and open this file through the Matchware shared workspace. If I'd like to review who I've shared the MindView file with, I simply select the drop-down icon next to Share, and I'll see a preview of the users that I've invited to share this file. If I need to edit those users' access, I simply select Edit Users, select the user that I'd like to edit, and change the access by selecting the radio button and choosing Save. MindView 4 allows document owners to lock particular branches when sharing files through the shared workspace. The ability to lock certain users out of specific branches gives the owner the power to control the flow of work, the allocation of tasks, and adds a safeguard to ensure that the file is accessed, updated, and collaborated on by the rightful users. To initiate branch locking, you must first either save a file online to the shared workspace, or open an existing file that has already been saved on the shared workspace. For branch locking to function correctly, you must first choose to share the MindView file with a particular user from the shared workspace. To complete the branch locking, simply select the branch that you'd like to lock, choose Manage Locks, select Add, and from the user list, select the individual user or users by holding down Shift, select OK, and choose to create the permissions, either read only or write access. For this example, Andrew will have read only access to that branch. When I select OK, the branch has now been locked, giving Andrew read only access to that branch. If I'd like to remove any locks or edit the locks, I can simply either select manage locks to change permission or lock the branch from other users, or choose to remove all locks, allowing both read and write access to the branch by any user. MindView 4 allows you to automatically distribute tasks to resources through the shared workspace, simply by specifying the resource's email address. Easily track task status by synchronizing your shared workspace task list with your MindView file. In order to distribute tasks, first select the task, assign a resource, Save the MindView file online by choosing Save Online. Choose the Matchware Shared Workspace. Select the desired location to save the file. And once you have successfully saved the file online, select Distribute Tasks to Resources. When I distribute tasks to resources, I can choose to include summary tasks, include completed tasks, and also specify the properties that I'd like to distribute start time, end time, completion, priority, and duration. I have the opportunity to choose what I'd like the resource to be able to edit, and by default, completion is checked. 
When emailing tasks to resources, I can choose to send emails with a link to the online task so the resource can navigate from their email directly to their shared workspace task list. I can also only choose to send emails about new tasks and resources so that I do not double send tasks to specific resources. I also have the opportunity to view outgoing emails before I send them if I'd like to make any edits. I'm going to leave these settings as default and choose OK. From within the shared workspace, under the Tasks tab, I now see the tasks that have been assigned to me. Setup Team and Setup Budget are the corresponding tasks that were assigned from within the MindView file. You see the properties that we decided to include, Start Date, End Date, Duration, and Priority, and the one property that we choose to allow them to edit, Completion. I have the ability to update my completion status or choose if a task is done and select Save. Once I've chosen to save the updated status, I can choose to import tasks from resources and synchronize my shared workspace task list with my MindView file. You can now see that the completion levels have been updated 40% and 100% which corresponds with the values that I updated from within the shared workspace.